Now, next tonight, if you know your movies and love a good 80s power balance, yes. then this next item is for you. An officer and a gentleman with Richard Gere and Deborah Ware was one of the biggest films of 1982 and has since gone on to become one of the highest grossing love stories in cinema history. Yeah, and no surprise to anyone who's seen that famous ending, of course, but this might be. An officer and a gentleman is back as a brand new musical with a Scottish premiere coming to the Edinburgh Playhouse in July. Yep, and joining us live from there now is the man who wrote the original screenplay based on his own life story. Hello to Douglas Day Stewart. Hello, Douglas. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Jennifer and David. Great to see you. Now, obviously, you wrote the screenplay based on your own life, I suppose. Working class love story about a troubled young man with dreams of flying jets to the Navy and the factory girl he falls in love with. Why did you decide to put that story and make it a screenplay? Well, Jennifer, I actually lived that story. I went through that horrendous 13-week officer candidate school in 1965, and uh, I... I met a girl during that time, a factory girl. I went to her home and, and, uh, and I thought about carrying her away. I had uh, a drill instructor that just as terrifying as the one I wrote about. And uh, I had other uh, experiences there with people who suggested some of the other stories that I did in my um, screenplay. So uh, it was really my life, my own personal journey. And it was uh, exciting to see it become a, a major motion picture. Yeah, well, um, it's a, still a timeless movie. And also, you received an Oscar nomination for uh, the screenplay. Were you surprised at how successful the movie did go on to be? Oh, I couldn't have been more surprised, David. Um, uh, you know, I started out trying to do something very, very personal. Uh, there was a very anti-military attitude in America at that time, thanks to the Vietnam War. So it was an almost impossible screenplay to sell. So when I finally had the good fortune of getting it made, and then it sort of caught on bit by bit, and the public embraced it, and I got that nomination for an Academy Award, I was just amazed. Yeah, it's absolutely, absolutely incredible. But was having it turned into the musical the natural progression, bringing it right up to date for us, I suppose? Oh, it really is. It's a really exciting thing, kind of a rebirth in a way for me to see uh, this uh, evolve into this amazing musical, thanks to this talented director, Nikolai Foster, who is a real treasure for the United Kingdom. You're going to hear his name going down the decades to come. And his vision for this musical uh, and mine were so aligned, it became the perfect uh, team. And um, will we expect massive 80s hits in the show as well, obviously? <laughs> Yes, I think that uh, it's, it's so true to the movie. And when you add music to that emotional story, uh, it's, it just goes through the roof. You just can't imagine the, the level of feeling that this uh, musical evokes. I've been watching it in preview in Leicester, and it, we're getting standing ovations every single performance. And people are just uh, thrilled uh, uh, when they see the, the, that iconic moment at the end. And, um, people are showing up in white costumes and it's, it's really, it's a thrill ride. It sounds amazing. Yeah, we're looking forward to seeing it in July at the Playhouse in Edinburgh. Douglas, thank you so much for joining us. So lovely to Good speak to you. Good to chat to you.